It doesn't make sense, but it makes sense. These thighs are thick. Look at this butt. We in there, Cole. We in there. I don't want fitness to always just be in control of my life. I'm gonna light that ass up and bowling too. <laughs> Shake your legs off. Cause I'm about to have weight. <laughs> Guess what today is, y'all? It is chicken day again after my cycle. Like, I'm excited for checking today, but then again, I'm kind of nervous. And the only reason why I'm nervous is because like two, three days ago, I've been implementing grapes into my meals. Not in my meal, but you know, like having it as a snack throughout the day. And I know I'm not supposed to eat grapes and not to put you on my business, but grapes tend to make people constipated. So I hope my body isn't holding on to anything. Obviously, we know the routine. We wake up, we empty ourselves, and then we have to hop on the scale, which we're about to do. But I'm kind of nervous. And we have to take our check-in pic pictures. And y'all look. I got the little attachment thing for my phone. So that means no more little bootleg setups to take my check-in pictures. But let's hop on the scale and see what she's talking about. Let's see. Okay, so let me just show y'all. That's it, 157.8. Do I feel some type of way? No, not really because we're still going down. I don't remember what the last check-in was or the check-in before that, but he, he had made clear to me like after my cycle, even if the weight doesn't drop, we're still on track because those previous weeks we lost like two pounds and then three pounds and stuff like that. So, you know, when you're in your cycle, you'll be holding on to weight and stuff like that. Let's just take our pictures. So, y'all are in the drill, 10 seconds, and we have to pose. It takes a lot of you. Side pose, which is not my strong suit, if I'm being honest. Not too bad. That actually, I want to show you. That actually looks really, really good. My favorite is the back pose. That looks better because you can see the definition of the back. I feel like when I first did it, I was a little bit too bent over. When in reality, you just push your hips back. Don't pinch your back and just get all of that. But yeah, yeah, that is my check-ins for today. Let me get ready for this gym so I can go. Is today's outfit. Leggings by Uriel, top from Shop Vitality. It's a large, but I also have the same color in the medium. And then some white socks. Today is a glute day. And I just feel like the brown and the blue eat. So this is what we're gonna wear to the gym. working out on days where I have to go to work because I already be getting off of work late at night and then when I come home I have to eat majority of the time I have to eat or I have and I have to shower and stuff and then like I begin I be getting in my bed but I don't go to sleep like right after like after I take my shower I be waking up like I be feeling tired but I be up and it'd be so hard to go to sleep and it's like I have to wake up early to go to the gym because then later on I have to go to work really annoying working out on days that I have to work but I have to get it done by any means necessary let's go fucking work out jeez my lord So 
so clearly I'm back home. When I came from the gym, I actually went to my apartment gym to go and do my, I went to go do my cardio. I did 40 minutes of cardio. I didn't finish my overnight oats before I went to the gym. So I ate the rest of it right now because I'm just coming back from getting my cardio done. So then I was like, maybe on my way to work, I might get hungry. So y'all look at this. I implemented this into my macros, right? Who the hell eats ground turkey and a rice cake? It doesn't make sense, but it makes sense because it fits into my macros. So if I get hungry on my way to work or while I'm at work and I get hungry, I actually have like a mini meal. I'm just gonna throw some hot sauce up in that bit and we are gonna call it a damn day. Okay, it don't make sense, but it makes sense. And then that's it. I don't think I showed you guys my meals for this week. I only showed my Instagram story. So I'm gonna show you guys. And like how I was telling y'all earlier, like, oh, I had pre-packaged like my grapes. There's literally 20 grapes in here. 100 grams is 20 grapes. And I was like, why is my stomach feeling like this? And I know why it feel like this. Like why I can't go to the bathroom is because of them damn grapes. So for the the other two that I had in there, I'm not even gonna touch them because we not on that type of time. So it's protein pasta, right? Like get into it, get into it. So it's the Berea brand. I already told y'all the best protein pasta is Berea. Don't get Bonza. It got like a weird texture, weird aftertaste. I don't like it. So the Berea protein pasta, five ounces of chicken breast, spinach, and the green wise mushroom sauce. Like if you have Publix's in your area, get the organic green wise sauces. It should be in like the refrigeration area with the refrigerated pasta noodles and stuff like the tortellinis and stuff like that. But that sauce, the mushroom sauce is good. If mushrooms ain't your thing, then I'm sorry. And then I have steak. It smells so good. Steak, basmati rice, arugula, and some salsa up in there. For my snacks today, we got um, string cheese, a protein shake, and an apple cinnamon rice cake. And then, of course, I implemented this into my macros. And I only have 13 grams of carbs left throughout the whole day. So when I get home, I don't know if I would want apples or remember those popsicles that I showed you guys that I had got from Whole Foods? I can have like two of these, two of these, and that'll be so good. But after I have two of them, I gotta go to Whole Foods and give me some more because they're really good and they only have three ingredients. I believe it's water, mango, and agave. So that's really good. But in five minutes, it's about to be 1 p.m. Y'all know I gotta be to work by two. So I'm gonna catch y'all. I don't know if I'm gonna catch y'all later or tomorrow. Either way go, I'm gonna catch y'all whenever I, oh my God. So y'all wasn't gonna tell me I had a chia seed in my tea. It's all good. Anyways, later. Guess who left work early today? I did. It is 6.54. I had to leave work, y'all. Like I was so aggravated, so irritable, so tired. Like I was not in it. Like I was just not feeling it. Like my attitude towards customers just wasn't there. Like everybody had noticed it. My manager, she had asked me if I was okay. Um, I just got a text message. Um, they just checking on me. But um, I don't know. I I just feel tired, and I am tired. I'm happy to be home because now I get to rest. I'm going to take a nap, but I had to check in with y'all first because my coach got back to me um, about my check-in and I wanted to share it with you guys. But pretty much my coach said everything was good. I went, I went down, I'm like on track and stuff. 
and that's what I forgot to tell you guys so before my cycle we know on my cycle I checked in at 162.5 but the previous week I was 158.7 but this week I was 157.8 so I'm just gonna subtract from those two to see if that's even a pound let me see girl I barely know math one 58.7 minus 157.8 so we lost 0 0.9 basically a pound but I feel like I would have been down more if I wasn't so you know backed up or whatever from eating like the grapes I feel like next week's check-in will be better so he didn't change my calories or my macros or anything he says I'm trickling down very well my body um like the definitions coming in lines are coming in which i'm very very happy for and i don't know if i if you guys seen like in my back pose you guys can see like my glute tie-ins like or my glute muscles starting to poke out which i'm very happy about because you already know like in the glute video and stuff i was talking about how it's barely visible it's starting to become visible like the more leaner i get the more my muscles start to pop out and that's the thing about me like I have a good amount of muscle on my body it's just hidden by this layer of fat and the more fat that I get off my body the more visible my muscles will be which I'm super duper hyped about but the only change that he made was my cardio so it was like I do Stairmaster three times a week for 30 minutes and then treadmill 30 minutes two times a week so it'll be I'll have five days of cardio but it'll be like you guys know I have a four day workout split so it'll be like I work out those four days I do cardio those four days then I have my rest day but I don't have to do anything my rest day so the next two days will be like my when I go back to working out will be like my treadmill days and then it just keeps going like that that's how it is but this time I have four Stairmaster days and instead of 30 minutes is 40 minutes and my heart rate has to be between 130 and 140 and usually when I'm on the stairs especially after like leg days my heart rate is already up there and high but lately my heart my heart rate has been like keeping its pace when it comes to my cardio so if I notice on Friday when I do my cardio and my heart rate is not between 130 and 140 I boost it up because right now I'm just on level one on the Stairmaster which I'm not complaining about trust me because we all know how the Stairmaster gets down okay so I'm enjoying it but the treadmill I have it one day out of the week and I think that is 30 minutes I'm not sure Stairmaster 40 oh no the Stairmaster is four times a week 30 and then I have the treadmill one time a week for 40 I got it mixed up you see I be tripping it's a good thing I went and looked because I would have went to the gym doing Stairmaster for 40 minutes so Stairmaster four times a week 30 minutes and then Whew. treadmill walk one time a week 40 minutes but yeah that was that um i'm really happy with my progress he even um did like a side by side picture from january 2nd that was like my second um well my first official check-in photo so i sent my first photos when i first started with him like december 28th and then i had to take new pictures the upcoming went the word the upcoming week those were my official starting pictures january 2nd um but yeah look look at these pictures look at the side by side hold on it's too bright look at it it looks so good my progress so I'm very very happy 
Oh, and y'all, y'all would be so proud of me because I've been practicing my posing. I'm probably going to practice some posing tomorrow because more than likely I'm not going to go to the gym early in the morning. I might do like a midday session only because I, I really, really want to sleep in. And I have like some content to catch up on for you guys, like YouTube wise. Um, when it comes to Instagram these days, I just be putting whatever together as long as it makes sense happy with my pictures and my progress like i can feel it in my body and everything i could feel it i could see it i'm starting to hear it like people are starting to notice it and yeah i i don't know when i'm gonna announce it on instagram but i think i think i'll announce it on instagram when I officially get a show date and I'm really really like on prep like such and such weeks out or whatever that's when I'll announce like hey cats out the bag you know what I'm saying like I'm getting ready for a show right now my coach just has me in a cutting phase and it's going very very well and that's all that matters like besides what happened with my cycle I understand that like you know we learning each other he's a man I'm a woman and that's okay but my coach knows what he's doing okay and I'll give him that he knows he knows what he's doing so shout out to Matt guess who got the most sleep in the world me I feel so well rested y'all I feel so good today's gonna be a good day well yeah it's gonna be a good day even though i gotta work out quads today i really don't want to but that's besides the point oh my god i feel so rested <sighs> like i went to bed last night at 1 a.m i woke up at 8 a.m this morning I went to Publix to grab me some meat because I have to meal prep. And then I came home and I went back to sleep. And it's 12.50 right now, I'm just getting up. So I've had more than enough sleep. I feel like the absolute best, rejuvenated, all of the above. I'm about to make me something to eat because I have my overnight oats made, y'all. I do. But today, I want a bagel. So let's get to that. All right, so Loki, the food can wait because y'all, look at this box that just came in, booked at my doorstep, okay? We finally have a partnership now with Prozies and your girl has a code, Kdiani, if you wanna go ahead and support her, okay? But let's do like a quick unboxing. Even my children are excited. I want to see what's in this box. You want to see what's in there? Want to see? Do you want to see what's in there? Okay, wipe your tails if you want to see it. Make some noise, y'all. Let's go ahead and open this box. I love boxes, y'all. I love it. I didn't even know this was coming in today, if I'm being honest. Okay, so we can't see what's in here. They also sell like supplements and things like that. Goodies, snacks that are high in protein. So they sent me this. I, I don't know if I asked for this. I don't think I did. They just sent it to me. But these are their little granola bars. Yeah, they're their granola bars. It's the Crunch Energy Bar with dark chocolate chips. So the macros is trying to see what's the macros because I don't understand. 13 grams of fat, 58 grams of carbs, 14 grams of protein. More than likely I would consume this on a very, very high um, carb day. This is 408 calories per bar. I want to see what it looks like. And this is what it looks like. I'm not going to try it today. I'll probably try it not tomorrow either because tomorrow's my rest day. But I'm going to try it and I'm gonna obviously try it with you guys here. Oh! oh my goodness! You fell. I'm so sorry. 
I'm so sorry. Boom. So you already know I take fish oils and sometimes vitamins can be a little bit expensive. So they sent me omega-3 vitamins. All that is is fish oils, which is great because I love this. This is good for like your joints and your muscles and stuff like that. And you really need, um, you need fish oil in your diet. Hey men, well, they gave me. They gave me vitamin D3 soft gels. This is good also. It's good for your immune system and all of that stuff. So we love taking vitamins over here. Now I'm gonna add this into my rotation of my vitamins in the morning. And then I have got a shaker bottle as if I don't have enough. But look how cute, it's pink. I have more shaker bottles. <laughs> Shaker bottles now. I love shaker bottles. And then this one I was very excited for. This is their fusion bottle. It just looks it just looks so clean and like cute. I love it. I was like, I want to try something different. So I decided to get this Chipotle Ranch. Um, it says zero, so it has no fat in it. Let me see. It's 16 calories for every 100 grams. Zero fat. Zero protein. Where are the carbs? 0 0.4 grams of carbs. So I'm going to be using this when I make my little bowls. Like my little salmon bowls, chicken bowls, ground turkey bowls, any type of protein type bowls. This is it right here. I'm going to try it. I might try this today. I'm not even going to hold you because I love Chipotle Ranch. I like to get the Hidden Valley one, but the calories are so high. I had to stop. Matter of fact, I want to taste it. definitely has that chipotle kick to it it's not creamy it's a little watered down a little bit but it has zero fat and stuff so that makes sense how do you close this oh but overall a really good flavor for it being zero whatever it is zero sugar zero fat zero protein it has good flavor and it doesn't have like a weird aftertaste to it. So that's kind of impressive. That's really good. I can't wait to try this. I'm not going to have it right now because I already have set in place what I want to eat. And that is my bagel. My bagel. But everything else I'm excited for. So y'all already know where y'all could go to support your girl. I can't wait for the next items that I'm going to get. Definitely going to try like more of their um, supplements and stuff because they have this clear protein and I want to try it to make jello. So I was like, ooh, that would be really good because you know my thing right now for like my snacks is jello and I want to get their, their, uh, they have different type of butters. Like if you go to their website, they have like a whole bunch of stuff. They have like different types of butters, like peanut butters, almond butters, different flavors, protein pancake mix, waffle mixes. I'm excited to try that because if it's already like calculated, if it's already calculated and all I have to do is just implement it into my fitness pal, that is so easy because I already told you like I'm a I'm a convenience girl like anything to make it easier and I can enjoy my foods is a win. We'll go over the names when I do the try on haul. But shout out to Prozies for partnering with me and wanting to work with me because it's gonna be up. This is gonna be fun. I'm excited. And this could be a way to either get you motivated and help you along your journey, make your journey a little bit more easier. Yeah, this, this is fun.
Y'all, this is sad. This is how lazy I was. I couldn't even go grab a regular plate. I just stuck with the damn foil. That's how lazy I'm being right now. But on top of my bagel is this cream cheese kite hill. <clears throat> We're not going to start this again, throat. We not. But this cream cheese is dairy-free as strawberry. <clears throat> I only used um, 16 grams of it. The serving size is 33. But just 16. And it's like so smooth and creamy, y'all. Well, yeah, I had, I had to switch it up on y'all today. I had to. So today's macros for this breakfast is 434 calories, right? 33 grams of protein, 50 grams of carbs, 10 grams of fat, which I'm not mad at. I'm actually glad it's high in carbs because I have leg day and it'd be killing me. But y'all, I haven't had like eggs in so long. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. I miss having eggs. And then like my bagel is a little bit burnt, but that's okay. I haven't had a bagel in so long. Mm. And the day Killer's bread, the woman berry bagel, so good. Usually I'd use like the Tillamook cream cheese, but I had to get something more macro friendly. And the Kite Hill is it, and it tastes good. I slick made like a subtle announcement. <laughs> I wasn't trying to really, but it happened. I have posted like a January dump because today is the 31st, it's the last day. I have posted these, this little dump, and they saw this picture. Honestly, it's too bright, hold on. They saw this picture, and they were like, is that a back pose? People saw it in my DMs, like, oh, you found a coach, da 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 Especially like the people that have been trying to be my coach for the longest, because a lot of people have asked me, are you competing? Are you competing in something? It's either they thought I was competing in like powerlifting or they thought I was gonna compete in bodybuilding. And it was always like, no, I've always thought of doing like powerlifting. But the whole bodybuilding kind of came about like last year. And I started thinking about it. And then I just decided to do it this year. Um, you know, there's been like multiple people that try to be my coach but they don't live in the area, like in Atlanta. I need you to be in Atlanta. I need you to be there for me. That's why I never chose like an out of state coach, although their work looks very good. But, but yeah, they were just asking me those questions. Uh, I don't know if she follows me on YouTube. I think she does. Cause in the cap in the comment section, she was like, "Oh my God, I can't wait for you to compete." You are doing the damn thing. And I'm just like, oh my God, girl. Like, I'm gonna put this emoji so bad. But it's like, it's gonna make it obvious. It's gonna make it obvious. But I'm not gonna say nothing still. Because this is between us. This is this is a secret society. Us. We are a secret society. The whole Kadionic community is a secret society. It's either you know or you don't know. Okay? So this... Stick between us. Ah, I'm so crazy. Oh, but y'all, remember last week I placed that order on the Gymshark? It's coming tomorrow. Oh, and I got my Lyft Miami tickets, in case I didn't tell y'all. I got me and Tasha our Lyft Miami tickets. And I kind of feel good that I'm going back home. If you didn't know, I'm originally from Miami. Oh. So I'm kind of happy I'm going back home. And then I'm gonna meet, I think I did tell you guys. Oh my gosh. 
I'd be all over the place. But I'm going to be able to meet so many people. Some people here in Atlanta are going. It's just going to be cool. It's going to be a vibe. It's going to be fun. I get to work out over there at the event. It's just going to be fun. So I'm excited for my clothes to come in. And I hope they look good on me. Especially that little white um, top that I got. I pray that that looks good on me. We're going to do the try on haul. And then we're going to go to the gym. I'm so funny, y'all. I taped the box back up so that I could take a picture for the thumbnail. Sad. The things we do. I slick want to try the pink one first. You in my business. Don't look at my toes. I said it. Don't look at my toes. Move, boy. You all up in my business. All up in my business. Can I put my clothes on? Okay. They feel good already. Okay. These cute. These feel cute. Now, the real test is. Yeah, I like this. This look good. And it feel good. Like, get into it. It look good and it feel good. Okay. Don't try. Little cupcake. Now we gotta try on the sports bra. Y'all been new these bitties was big, so don't don't act surprised, okay? Okay, so this is the sports bra. It's really cute. I'm glad it didn't come with no padding on the inside because I'm not a padding type girl, but I could get real cute with it. Ugh. Yeah. Now this isn't like a medium support or heavy support bra for the big chested girlies. But since it has so much stretch, what I would do, like what I always do, is get these, cross them, and tie it in the back like a little knot and it's still cute who's calling me i'm sorry jay girl you got way i'm going to try on home okay so i would just tie it in the back adjust your boobies okay your ninnies and look it looks way better now still cute in the back, you just have this right here, which I just be tucking like right in the middle so it can be like that. And that's how we're gonna make it work. So I'm probably still gonna wear this to the gym because I absolutely love the color scheme on my skin tone and it just feels so good. And I like the way how I tightened it. It makes my ninnies sit. So I do like this. This set is very, very cute. Like in the back, you guys see the little prosy symbol. Let's see if it's squat proof, and it is. Drop down and get your eagle on. Drop down and get your eagle on. Okay, let's try the next one. Before I go, so these are the contour high waist shorts in the color candy pink, and this is the BFF, the BFF sports bra in the color color pink candy pink in the color candy pink so if you're interested code down below okay but get into it like it looks it looks really really good on me like i like and i just finished eating like i don't feel bloated or nothing and i i look good i look fly i look good tuck my swag which good all right next set Oh, let's do this one. These thighs are thick. Before I proceed, this pink and green eat, okay? I love a good dark green color and a pink combo, but, but the leggings look good. Like, get, in, get into the details. The leggings look good and they feel good. These are the Free Spirit leggings free spirit leggings in the color dark green this one i know i'm gonna have to wear a bra underneath so i'm not even gonna take this bra off oh i love love how fitted it feels already okay 
I like this. I like this a lot. Like, I wouldn't even just wear this to the gym. I would wear this out. Like, this is this is cute. This this eats. Yeah, this is the Free Spirit LS base layer in the color dark green. Like, get into it. It just looks so good. Like, the set looks so good. Hold on, pose. Hold on, front pose. Yeah, like, it just looks really good. I like this. This is cute. I can't wait to wear this out. Yes. I like this a lot. And y'all know green is my favorite color, so... Yeah, this eats. I like this color. Oh, we gotta try the, we definitely gotta try the gray leggings. Hold on. I'm like a crop top whore. I definitely can wear this as a crop top. Yes. Yes. I like this color a lot. Ooh, like, yes. Like, look at it. Look at it. It looks so good. It looks so good. Look at the crop poking out of the leggings. These are the Alpine medium waist leggings. I like these. With the green it eats. I don't know, I might wear this to the gym today. I'm not even gonna hold you. We just gonna have to tuck this shirt a little bit more because y'all know I like my, my crop tops because this this eat like this looks ooh, 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 ooh. it looks really really good yeah man we out here we out here hey 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 ooh, ooh. get it and hips hips and rocking 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 oh and rocking rocking rock yeah if clothes don't make you feel like that, then you got the wrong clothes. But these, it feel good, it look good. Yeah, yeah. Oh, and you 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 peeped right the the knitties. Ooh, 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 double duck. Oh, oh. Yeah, you see the knitties. Yeah, Coco. Yeah. Let's try. These I saved the best for last because I'm excited to see what these are going to look like for real. Because these is they're different for sure. Get your butt. This is mommy show, not bean show. These these are cute. They're different, but they're cute. People are gonna be like, what what the hell this girl think she had? Like in the 70s, the 80s? Like this is it. I see you. Mom is putting clothes on. Can I get a kiss? You just the sweetest thing, baby. Try it with this, cause I already know, crop top horror. I like stuff that look different anyway. Is this a medium? It don't feel like a medium. I should have got a small in this one. You know, we gotta roll it up. Yeah, I like it. This this is gonna be a good one. I like this. What what y'all what do y'all think about this? Cause me, I like it. Other people, this may not be their speed, but I love this top. Like I love this color on me. I like the color blue on me a lot. Like you see I'm swaying side to side. I feel like a badass. Like no, if you book, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, this this looks good. This is hold on front pose. Hold on, side pose. Ooh, ooh, bring it back. Oh, okay. Back pose, back pose, back pose. Ooh. Oh, oh. Stay the back. Yeah. We in there. 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 I like it. I like all the clothes. Alright, so this is the getting started. LS top period. If they have more colors, definitely need to get it because I love long sleeve. 
I thought these had like the little thumb holes. That would be cute. Like a little vibe, you know what I'm saying? Short, so aerobics, high waist, medium shorts. I love the clothes. Shout out to Prozy. If you guys like anything on me and y'all want to be twinning in the gym, make sure y'all use the code down below, KDANI, period, to support your girl. Tasha and we was all just talking for a little minute and then I was just procrastinating going to the gym because I really didn't want to come to the gym and then now it's seven and I know everybody and their mama about to be in this gym because the parking lot is jumping okay and now I gotta go work out Ugh. I've been dreading to work out I should have just went and worked out earlier today instead of just waiting until now like i'm gonna make this quick so i can get in and out and i might do a little bit of posing practice and another thing too today i barely had an appetite like i had the eggs and the bagel today and then i had a rice cake and a protein shake because i was like oh i'm gonna have this i'm gonna go to the gym i didn't go to the gym and then i had one of tasha's macro munchies cookies and i still have like 800 900 calories left basically i have like 900 to a thousand calories left oh i think i'm gonna get that place from last week um the the place called fresh one um the sweet potato noodles with the chicken but this time i'm gonna ask for extra chicken or chicken and shrimp because i think that'll be good but yeah y'all like your girl is over it really over it Alright y'all, so I brought my heels with me. Obviously, I don't have my posing heels just yet. But I finished my workout. I'm like super tired. I finished in 44 minutes. That's a record. Like the gym was so packed. It wouldn't even have been a good day to record any content. Content because of the time. Like, And now I'm going to practice some posing real quick. Because I'm ready to go eat. I'm hungry. I'm back home and we went to Whole Foods and that fresh one spot that I told you about last week. So I re up re on these popsicles because I absolutely love them. They are so, so good. And like I said last time, there's like three to four ingredients. So this one has four ingredients. It has strawberries, lemon juice, filtered water, and organic agave nectar. And this one is just three mango water and agave nectar. And then I told you about these waters, the sparkling waters. This is what I had last time, the summer strawberry, which is, which is good. And this time I got lime mint elderflower and pineapple mango, which is good. But I don't think it tops the strawberry one yet. But it's it's good though. It's really good. So let me show you my food. I asked for extra chicken this time. I got extra chicken this time. There's carrots, corn, mushroom, broccoli, green beans, and those sweet potato noodles. They didn't give me my chopsticks this time, but it's okay. I am hungry. Mm, mm, mm. This place is really good. Really, really good. Good morning, y'all. So clearly, I'm in my apartment gym because 
I'm getting ready to train my client. Today is February 1st, so happy February 1st to everybody, okay? New month, sticking to the same goals, okay? We're just improving it and getting better. So today I'm gonna be training her on quads. I think the last time you guys seen in the vlog, we had did like glute focus, um, but we're gonna do quads today. I already have her first setup because we're gonna be doing the Smith machine. Now you see those boxes there? Yeah, those boxes right there. I set them up to help her get better with her squat form and like get deeper. So I kind of feel like she's a little bit, you know, nervous about getting low with her squat. So I put those there as a safety net. So if you're someone who struggles with getting lower with your squats, setting up some boxes, either whether you're doing regular back squats or Smith machine squats, a box or those little build up blocks would be good for you to help perfect your squat form. So that's what we're gonna start off with today. She's gonna do four sets, but the first two sets, I'm gonna do like 10 to 12 reps. And then the last two sets are gonna be 15 because we need to get this ball rolling, we need to get to the gains and all of that. So it's gonna be fun. She feels better, so I'm happy about that. She just got here, so we gotta get started. <laughs> She's here, y'all. You got your short song. <laughs> so we're gonna do our warm up. Let me put my Crocs in sports mode. Hold on. Sports <laughs> mode. All right. So we're gonna go here. We're gonna swing your legs back and forth. Front swings each side. We're gonna do 15 on each one. And then, or we could do 10. And then same thing, side to side on each one. Turn around, same thing. Ooh, I just popped my head. <laughs> it was a good one. And then we're gonna get low, squat low, knees between your elbows, not between your elbows, but elbows between your knees, and then rock back and forth, open up your hips. And then we're gonna do that two times, and then we're gonna get started. Let me put some music on. Okay, you ready? <laughs> Okay, we're gonna do squats first. We have four sets. The first two sets are 10 to 12 reps, and then the last two sets are gonna be 15 sets. And then we have our favorites right here to help us with the squats. Why you gotta pull one, one two, three, four, five, six? Cause we're gonna get deeper. So thumbs on the ridges, get under the bar. Get comfortable, unrack it, step out some, widen up your stance. Up. Touch the box. Up. Down. Up. To re rack it, go back to your regular stance, push it back, come down. Okay? So we're gonna do a practice set with no weight, and then your real sets are gonna be with weight. Get comfortable, yep. Yep. There you go. Get low. There you go. Three. Get. Shake your legs off. Because I'm about to add weight. <laughs> Not the subtle twerk. <laughs> Early this morning. You ready? Get your stance together. Mm -hmm. Okay, hold on. Re rack it. I want you to bring your feet out a little bit more. Here, out in front of you, so that way you can push your butt out and actually sit down. Because you want to create that 90 degree angle in your legs. Yeah, the 90 degree angle. You don't want the 70? No, not the 70. We want the 90. Step it out. Yep, there you go. Her 
perfect. Give me 12. Two, three, eight, nine. Yes. My bad. My bad. I'm trusting you with your cow. Ten. Eleven. Last one. Twelve. You didn't even need me the last time. Well, they hurting now. <laughs> Setting up your feet. <laughs> gym earlier today I'm sorry I didn't bring y'all with me but I went to the gym earlier today right and I was in the room I was posing because I was recording on what I eat in the day for you guys and I was in the room posing and this is lady I always see her she's like an older lady and I was posing she came up to me she was like let me hop in with you and she was all like this and like this and I was like you competed before she was like, yeah, that she competed for like 10 years and a half. And then y'all guess what? She put me on to this posing coach. I DM'd the posing coach earlier. And I was like, oh my gosh, like this is gonna be super exciting because I want someone here in Atlanta too, because you know, like hands on so that they can move my body around how I'm supposed to actually be. So I'm like super exciting excited i'm super excited like i was recording for the what i end the day and it caught like a glimpse of the interaction but then i ran out of space i was like oh my god like whatever <laughs> let's get into this haul really quick because it is for something and i'm going out with jay today we're going to put shack so I want to be able to get ready. She's gonna be here like at six, so we got we got to speed it up. So the first one we're gonna try is the bra. Well, this white bra and these shorts. I feel like people be watching me in this window, so I'm gonna I'm gonna go put my clothes on over there and then come back over here. Y'all, look at this. Hold on, cause I don't, I don't think y'all see it for real. See why I love these shorts? Like they is the shorts of the shorts, but the real, the real star of the show is the bra. Can we give her a round of applause, please? Like I told y'all, drop down the size. I promise you, it's gonna look good. Like I just love the straps on here. Look at the back of it. The back of it looks so good. Like, can I deadlift in these? Can I deadlift in these? Heavyweight, 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 heavyweight. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, we, we in there. Can I squat in these? Can I squat in these? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Heavy squat, heavy squat, heavy squat. Heavy squat. Brace your core. Mm. Uh, yeah. We in there. We in there, Cole. We in there. Get down before you dirty my bra. Anyways. Yes! Ah, we look good! We live Miami ready! Let's open on the other one. Alright, so this one, this one is definitely different. Like, getting to the top, I like it. I was hesitant about getting this one, this top, when the blue set came out. The at that point, the blue one, I'm, I'm looking in the mirror, y'all. But um, this this is cute. I I actually like it. Like it looks different. I like how it has the adjustable strap so it can hold my boobs. I like the back. How it looks like it's a regular bra in the back, but it's not until you bow, turn it to the front, you strap a pose, and then it's like she's giving different. 
Okay, so I like this. Let, let me know if y'all like this. Like at first when I put it on, I was like, hmm, it's, it's different. But, shoulders. But, y'all know I got a thing for shoulders. But it's like, as I look at myself in the mirror, it's giving. Cause I need y'all to see what I see in the mirror. Like, it's giving, yeah. Ooh! That's what I'm talking Did y'all see that? What? Yes, ma'am. Yes. Ooh. lips Miami ready and you know like that's today is February 2nd that is 22 days from now that's three weeks from now so we're gonna be a little bit leaner in three weeks you hear me we you know <laughs> my dog's looking at me like bitch what do you have going on child I'm just happy because we look we look good hold on we look good, okay? Do you hear me? Let me hurry up and get ready, y'all, because it's now almost time to go. Let me hit him with the hips. Hit him with the hips. Hit him with the hips. Turn around, turn around, turn around, turn around. You want to hit him with the hips? Hit him with the hips. Hit him with the hips, go. Hit him with the hips. Hit him with the hips, go. Go, 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 go. Hit him with the hips. Hey. But yeah, y'all, we in there for Lift Miami, okay? We are in there. We're going to look damn good. So this is the fit, just some shorts, this top of Savvy, 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 Savage X Fenty bra that you guys seen at the beginning when I was showing y'all the triumph haul. This is the back of the shirt and the shorts, these boots, and then I have like a black denim jean jacket and it kind of, it's kind of long that I'm going to wear. But let me just show you guys. Get into like the earrings. I did a quick beat on my face so I don't look crazy. My hair was in a do rag. Like, I tried to lay it down. So, this is the jacket. Okay. It's kind of giving like schoolgirl vibes. I don't know. Let's see. Yeah, so this is it with the jacket. And then. I'm going to be using this bag that I had got from like Marshalls. It's a bear claw bag. It's very, very cute, but it's perfect for me to hold like my tripod and my camera. So this is the bag we're going to go with. I might do a little crossbody action. Let me see. Yeah. I think that's good. That's actually Jay texting me right now. But yeah. This is it. Let me go take my dogs out real quick and then we're gonna head out. Jay is here. Your girl done brought her her little flavored water from Whole Foods that I showed y'all the other day. And I packed me a rice cake. Cause I told y'all I'm filming me on what I eat today. So I gotta be prepared even if I go out. You know what I mean? Hello. Hello. Hi. Hi. Why is it 60 degrees outside? Right. Say hi. Ooh, hey, hold on. It's dark. Hey. hey. <laughs> <laughs> what you got? Some. Oh. It's water. It's I'm water. I'm like, not my girl got no. the, the bottle. Uh, no, it's definitely water. <laughs> All right, we about to head out. Go ahead, let me see what you
right, y'all. We finished at Put Shack and it was fun. Jasmine over there tipsy. Out of there, gone. Now we at, where we at? Midtown, but we about to go bowling. If the price is right. If the price is right. But you know, I'm going to light that ass up and bowling too. <laughs> from hanging out with Jay and a little update on this real quick this flavor is actually pretty good like it has like that hint of lime to it like it's really really good I like it but overall I enjoy myself but who the hell eats a hummus platter when they go bowling but I'm trying to stay disciplined to my goals you know what i'm saying so i had a hummus platter it had like cucumbers carrots celery um little triangles of the pita and red pepper hummus i love hummus okay i love hummus hummus is good so that's why i get it it's like protein and then veggies so it's gonna be low calorie so that's the only reason why i got it but y'all, I had a blast. We went and did put shack and then we did bowling. I tore that ass up twice. Okay, do not play with that girl. She's not one of them. And it was just fun to get out and do something completely different, even though I am preparing for like this show and stuff. I still want to be able to enjoy life. Like I don't want fitness to always just be in control of my life. I want to be in control of my life so whatever goals you have set for yourself whatever it is whether it's fitness or whatever don't let it consume your life still enjoy your life okay and that's how we're gonna end the night I hope you guys really enjoyed this vlog I enjoyed this vlog I feel like tonight's was the cherry on top and I just had a blast so like always, I appreciate y'all. I love y'all. Thank y'all for all the support. Don't forget to comment, like, share, and subscribe. And then until next time, peace.